Welcome to another video of Dota Tactics. I'm Xionus and this is how you can play Wrath King. Wrath King, formerly known as Skeleton King, is a strength melee hero with a very accessible combination of spells at his disposal, making him a very powerful and easy to play hero. Wrathfire Blast is Hostarion's active ability, stunning an enemy target unit for 2 seconds and dealing damage over time. The blast also slows the target. Wrathfire Blast is an ideal tool to lock down key enemy targets. Vampiric Aura is one of Wrath King's passive abilities, granting HP to nearby allied units based on their damage dealt when attacking enemy units. Mortal Strike is Wrath King's second passive ability, which gains a chance to deal bonus damage on an attack which synergizes extremely well with items like Armlet, making Austerian a dangerous opponent. Reincarnation is Wrath King's passive ultimate, allowing him to resurrect when killed in battle. Upon death, enemy units in the area will be slowed by 75% for 5 seconds. There are many ways to play Wrath King. The following build focuses on a solid and easy to execute carry laning build. At level 1 invest 1 skill point into Wrathfire Blast to be able to stun enemies and initiate an early kill as fast as possible. This ability is maxed first by investing further skill points at 3, 5 and 7. At level 2 invest 1 skill point into stats as it benefits greatly your overall tankiness and survivability. At level 4 invest 1 skill point into Mortal Strike to gain critical damage during early farming. Max it out second by investing further skill points at levels 9, 10 and 12. At levels 8 and 13 to 15 invest skill points into Vampiric Aura that grants a great overall region aura effect for your team. Note that this passive ability stacks additively with other sources of lifesteal originating from items like Radomir's Offering or other hero abilities. At the standard 6, 11 and 16 invest skill points into your ultimate. As starting items go for Tangos, a healing self, a stout shield for better survivability and two iron branches which increase your base stats significantly during the early gaming phase. These items make it difficult for the enemy to kill you early. Your early game items should consist of boots of speed and a magic wand. Make sure to save magic wand charges if your mana runs low so your ultimate has a chance to be activated. Essential core items consist of power threads, an armlet and black king bar. Mortal Strike synergizes extremely well with armlet, so make sure to activate it during fights for increased attack speed, damage and strength. Armlet will drain 40 HP per second. You can however not die from the health drain originating from armlet. Blacking Bar is another great survivability item as it grants you magic immunity, making you extremely tanky during team fights. If your farm or overall game performance allows it, you can invest your gold in damage dealing and defensive items like Desolator, Monkey King Bar, Heart of Tarask and Assault Kyrias, making you extremely hard to kill. Depending on the situation, you can go for a Soul Ring, granting you mana in difficult situations for your ultimate. Another great situational item is Heaven's Halberd as it disarms your target for 4 seconds, which increases the chances of a successful kill greatly in combination with the previously discussed core items. A 4 staff or blink dagger might be an item choice if you want to increase your mobility and chances to stun a target. Refresher Orb is also a possible option for even more survivability. Wrath King plays well together with heroes that can lock down the enemy. These heroes include Ancient Apparition, Venomancer, Tide Hunter and Vengeful Spirit. You should try to avoid Wrath King if the enemy team consists of heroes like Anti-Mage, Nyx Assassin, Silencer and Outworld Destroyer. Especially Silencer is a very good counter to Wrath King. The following guide focused on a solid carry laning build. Note that Wrath King is an extremely tanky and easy to play hero with only one active spell. However, it is very important to position yourself well during team fights and during the laning phase. Do not waste your ultimate as a result of bad positioning. Your life is of the uppermost importance, especially if you are the only damage dealer in your team. Another aspect that not many players are aware of is switching the attributes of power threads. Before team fights, switch your threads to int as it increases your mana pool before casting your blast. Make sure to switch to agility when using items like a healing self, a clarity or bottle charge. Finally, switch to strength during every team fight and farming as your core stat is strength. Also new players forget to activate armlet after buying it. Make sure to always use armlet in appropriate team fight situations as it synergizes extremely well with mortal strike. 
In addition, it is possible for Wrath King to pick up an Aegis, as his ultimate will only be used after the Aegis upon death. This means that you can die three times during teamfights and still have an effect on the overall battle, which gives you a huge advantage. Another interesting aspect concerning Roshan is the fact that your lifestyle aura is a great tool to kill Roshan easily, so try to secure Aegis as much as possible for your team. If you fear that you cannot position yourself well enough, it is also beneficial to get a blink dagger. In general, Wrath King is a farm dependent hero and therefore it is of your first priority to get gold as fast as possible. You should always try to maximize your farm during the map rotation by also killing neutral camps in the jungle. Concerning the farming aspect, you should also know that you should preferably pick Wrath King in the safe lane as he has a lower success rate in the hard lane. In teamfights, make sure to position yourself well and let your teammates initiate preferably. In theory, you can initiate with Wrathfire Blast, but it is more important to be the overall damage dealer in big teamfights. As always, remember to adapt your item choices to the situation at hand and play your role accordingly. If you stick to these basic rules, Wrath King will be a very satisfying and fun to play hero. Thank you for watching another contribution to my Dota Hero Guide series. Please, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. Thanks and see you guys next time.